in this video we're gonna focus on how to determine general solution of a second order differential equation let me show you to solve them step by step and actually enjoy it so we ask to determine general solution of the following differential equation this is second delivered second differential equation because it has power of 2 on d and on x square so first step we will we'll write into d operator form this equation if you write it into d operator form it will be d squared we add 9 y is equal to 26 exponential raised to power 2x after writing this the second step we are going to write into auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation it will be m squared plus 9 is equal to 0 we only write this function into m squared plus 9 is equal to 0 so to solve this equation m squared will be equal to 9 it's move on the other side it will be negative 9 which is the same as 9 imaginary number because i squared is the same as negative 1 so it's the same as 9 9 i imaginary i then from there m it will be plus or minus 3 i because it will be the, the square root of 9 i which will be positive or negative 3 i after writing this the, the next step the next step we are going to determine the complementary factor which will be the same as u is equal to because it is positive negative 3i this is conjugate complex number and the conjugate complex number it will give us it will be the same as exponent to be the same as exponential alpha x open the bracket a cos beta x we add b sine beta x from this auxiliary equation because the, the constant is the same as the alpha so it and we don't have in the equation the auxiliary, we don't have the constant so it will be exponential 0 x a cos beta is the same as the coefficient of imaginary number which is 3 so it's going to be 3 x plus b sine 3 x which will give you because n number raised to 0 is 1 so it's, it will give you a cos 3x plus b sine 3x after writing this the next step I'm going to find the particular integral which is the same as v from this equation we look on the solution value the solution value here is 26 exponential 2 sec so particular integral will be the same as k exponential 2x after writing this the next step we're going to use it to solve so it's the same as we go back to the this d operator form which will be the same as d square plus 9 instead of putting y we'll put it k exponential 2x which is the same as which will give you 26 exponential 2x the next step we're going to find the derivative of k exponential 2x so it's the derivative of k exponential 2x will give you so you look on the power of exponential 2x if you find the derivative of power of exponential 2x with respect to 
dx it will give you 2 so it's going to be 2 k exponential 2x then again we go to the second derivative of k exponential 2x so we will we'll use this one the derivative of 2x it will be 2 so 2 by 2 going to give you 4 k exponential 2x because the, the second derivative is the same as d squared so this equation is going to give you it will be 4 k exponential 2x we add we are going to add we will multiply 9 by k exponential 2x so it's going to be 9 exponential 9 exponential k 2x which is equal to 26 26 exponential 2x here we can add because it's like time so it's going to give you 13 k exponential 2x which is the same as 26 exponential 2x we can cancel exponential 2x exponential 2x so it's going to be 13k the same as 26 so k is going to be both, both side by 13 so k is going to be 2 then you go back to particular integral so particular integral v will be the same as 2 exponential 2x then we finalize the general solution will be y is equal to u plus v and u and u here is a x cos 3x b plus b sin 3x so it's the same as this is going to give you y is equal to a cos 3x we add b sin 3x and we add our v is 2 2 exponential 2x thank you for watching my video welcome on the next class